so why? What's up with that? Swedenborg said that we needed that what what needed to happen is a new phase in the revelation that's been moving through these, but that this would actually come not by getting rid of the Bible, but by understanding the inner sense of the Bible, the the true meaning that actually has been contained there all along. And he had a defining vision of this whole thing where he got to see a symbol of the need for this and what was to come. So this is being read from his True Christianity 508. One day there appeared to me a magnificent temple, square in form. The roof was shaped like a crown. It arched upward and was elevated all around. The walls were continuous windows of crystal clear glass. The door was made of a pearly substance. On the southwest side of the interior, there was a large raised pulpit, on top of which, to the right, the word lay open. Surrounded by a sphere of light so bright that it engulfed the whole raised area of the pulpit and made it shine. In the middle of the temple, there was a sanctuary with a veil at the front of it that was now lifted up. There, an angel guardian made out of gold stood with a sword moving this way and that in its hand. Once I had looked carefully at all of these items, the meaning of each one flowed into my meditation. The meaning of each one flowed in. There's your correspondences. These are objects, but they are symbols. It's almost like they are three-dimensional words for things. And he goes on to meticulously describe what each of those things mean, but we don't have time for that now. Just kidding. That's the point of our show. We have time for it. Let's take a look. He says, he goes through everything. The temple itself, a symbol of the mind, he said this temple was a symbol of the new church. The church that was to come, which we talked about before, is a symbol of a new mindset, a new era in humanity, not just a religious organization. Next, he said that that doorway is a symbol of our entry into that mindset, into that new church, that new community. He went on to say that the clear windows are the truths that enlighten the mindset of the new church. Also, the stand in the corner. The priesthood and the preaching or the communication of message within that new church was going to shine, communicate these truths better than they had been before. Also, the Word itself, the Bible there glowing, and this is where we start to get into our show, the Word's inner meaning has been revealed, and that this was going to mark the difference. This was where it was really going to start to do something cool. The places for people to sit was the partnership between this church and heaven, that we were going to, through this, through this vision he's having of this thing to come, this thing is going to reestablish that connection between heaven and earth. And the angel there is actually the literal meaning of the word, which uh, meaning the, the Bible, the stories in the Bible, the text of the Bible, not taken symbolically, but just taken in their literal sense, because that is the guardian. And he said the literal sense can be turned this way and that, provided the purpose is to apply it to some truth. The angel is moving its sword. That means you can take these stories, as long as they're pointing towards good, people can have different interpretations of them. But you still have this literal sense um, because it guards the inner sense. Some people say, why didn't God just write it out? Because there needed to be a protection so that people didn't take it and do uh, and make it serve themselves like they did with... Uh, with the uh, external sense. So, he also saw on the top inscribed Nunc Liket, which is translated, now it is allowed, you can see it, it just appeared above the door, that's a famous little quote in, in Swedenborgian circles, um, and it is it means now it is permitted to enter with understanding into the mysteries of faith, that one of the hallmarks of this new religious era was going to be that it's not, there's God and He's mysterious, we don't understand, we don't understand how God works on the earth, we don't understand what heaven is like, that you, you can know, and you, it's something that you don't just have to say, well, it doesn't make sense, but I'll believe it, that you can actually learn it and believe it, it's something you don't have to put your thinking, rational human brain to sleep for, this is going to make sense. So that's what the temple was. And then he had this encounter after that with uh, actually uh, an angel who told him a little bit more. So this is again from True Christianity 508. Afterward, I saw someone like a young child overhead holding a piece of paper in his hand. As he came nearer to me, he grew into a person of medium height. 
He was an angel from the third heaven, where all the inhabitants appear from a distance like little children. When he was in my presence, he handed me the piece of paper. Because it was written in the curved letters they use in that heaven, however, I handed it back and asked that they express the meaning of the message in words adapted to the ideas in my thinking. He replied, What is written there is this. From now on, explore the mysteries of the word, which was formerly closed up. All of its individual truths are mirrors that reflect the Lord. So, not only are these truths accessible, but all of them tell you something about the Lord, the divine, ultimate reality. This was a pivotal point in Swedenborg's spiritual awakening, and essentially, it was his mission. It became his mission to open up this internal sense of the Word, to give people the, the, the truths that shine behind the literal meaning of the Bible.